Hello, welcome to this brand new tutorial. Now before I get started, I just want to tell you, if you have an Android device, you can go to the Play Store and look up Don't Shoot Suzanne. Now if you remember Suzanne, she is a uh, monkey, a very Suzanne. She's a very symbolic uh, element in Blender. She's, well, one of the first 3D objects, primitives, and she's really cool. And I made a game with her. Yeah, she's in my game. So if you want to go download it from the Play Store on an Android device, then you can go directly from the link in the description below. Go try it out, see what you think, see if you beat my high score. Uh, basically the game is you try not to shoot Suzanne, it's all in the title. Now, back to the tutorial. We're going to talk about collision detection, and this is very useful, obviously, that's why you looked up this video. <laughs> now, once the uh, first thing to do with the scene, I have my player and two pillars with my camera parented to my player but that's not necessary you're going to select the pillar or the other object that you want colliding with set a rigid body now this can be passive or active it doesn't matter the most important thing is the fact that you have collisions enabled it can be a sphere a capsule mesh itself or a box i'm using a box it really doesn't matter as long as one of them is enabled and you need the player to have this as well, the player should already have this, that's what most players do, depending on your game. And once you have that, you're almost ready to go. You have to go to your Scenes tab, and you have to set Nodes, and you have to set Scene Node Tree 2. Well, you should, you should have just Node Tree, because you would have just created a new one, probably. Uh, but I've already opened this project and worked on it a little bit. A little bit. So, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, in this node tree 2, which is open here, I'm going to go shift A, and we're going to go directly on volume trigger. We're going to select our on volume trigger, and this is basically a collision detection node. And this is going to check if player collides with pillar, and we need to check that they're overlapping, colliding, collision, collision detection. And if they are colliding, we're going to do something. And what we're going to do is we're going to set scene active. And we need to define what scene we want to set. And so the scene here needs to be defined. So we're going to set the scene node and define the scene. We only have one in this case. But let's try it out to see if it works. Now this is a very simple project I've been working on. It's not a natural game. This is part of what will probably be my first Honor 3D tutorial series. It will be a free YouTube course that you can follow along because I haven't found any course like that on YouTube. And as soon as it collides on here, you see, it uh, restarts the scene. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, comment if you want to see something or if you didn't understand something. And like I was saying, uh, this will be part of a tutorial series I'm making for YouTube. And this tutorial series will be available for free. And it will go through how to build a game from start to finish with all the different problems and, um, well, not problems, hopefully, but all the different features that Armory allows you to access and Armory lets you use uh, to, uh, to make a great game with lots of originality instead of a Flappy Birds ripoff game, which this totally wasn't. Obviously, not. This is 100% original idea by myself. <laughs> anyway, if you did like this tutorial and want to. Um, um, you want to watch the tutorial series and it will be in development very soon although I do not have a lot of time uh, so please subscribe not to miss it you can uh, thumbs up the video to know that you're waiting for it uh, I'm the more thumbs up I get the faster and the more encouraged I'll be to bring out this tutorial series it'll be in-depth and for all viewers beginners advanced anybody can watch it so I'll see you then thank you very much for watching